And we go on and on and on. Aspect after aspect after aspect after what? After aspect. From kitab, from sunnah, from common sense, from politics, with regards to the importance of self-defense, the necessity of self-defense, and the importance of preventing transgression against yourself and against your, uh, your Muslim brother. And a sad state of many people who take the side of the kuffar, make excuses for the kuffar, they apologize to the kuffar, and the Muslims are killed, they're blown to pieces, they're raped and murdered and violated, and no one says anything. No one gets upset, no one minds, and the first thing they say, oh, they're khawarij, or they're protesting, that's haram, or they're speaking about the rule, that's haram. And they'll find every excuse to desensitize the people to feeling bad for what's going on to the Muslims. And they'll find every excuse to make for the kuffar and the mushrikeen, and they'll find every excuse for the uh, tyrannic Muslims that are hurting and harming their brothers to justify it and to defend it. So that's a sad state. And if I was in that park myself, and Allah knows best, I wasn't there. I, if I was there, I would try my best to defend the Muslims. And any other means, or whatever you have, else you have to do to get the message across to anyone who is divided a Muslim, should and must be done. Should and must be done according to what? The Quran and the Sunnah, let alone if it's an issue of necessity, durura, in which there's what? Extreme measures for what? Extreme situations. Wallahu alam.